Hi friends, welcome to Biology Tutor. Today we are going to discuss about Coco. If you like this channel, please share and subscribe. Don't forget to click the bell button to get notifications. Coco. The Coco plant is a small tree native to the American tropics. The Ivory Coast and Ghana are the two largest producers of Coco. Together they cultivate more than half of the world's Coco. The botanical name of Coco is Theobroma coco. It is also known as food of the god of the family Malvaceae. Coco pods. Coco pods. When mature, yellow or red in color. The pods are 10 to 18 cm in diameter. 20 to 50 beans inside in rows. The seeds are embedded in white or pinkish pulp. Seeds are the principal source of coco or Cocoa powder. Next, the varieties of cocoa. There are three types of cocoa. How many types? There are three types of cocoa. Crayolo, Forastero, Trinitario. The first one is Crayolo. The rare bean. It is a high quality cocoa bean and is very aromatic and lacks bitterness. It has white cotyledons. The chocolate made out of it is of light brown color like milk chocolate the second type is forastero the robust bean most widely produced cocoa variety in the world and it contributes to almost 95 percentage of the world's total cocoa produce it is made up of small flat and purple beans and are bitter in taste trinitario the hybrid bean it is a hybrid between Forastero and Crayolo trees. It is a disease resistant hybrid and is regarded as a flower bean. It has a strong chocolate flavor. Composition of cocoa beans. Fat 54.68%. The three main fatty acids are oleic, stearic and palmitic acids. Carbohydrates 31%. Mainly starch and other dietary fibers, proteins 10 to 15 percentage, polyphenol content of 3 percentage and caffeine 0.1 to 0.7 percentage. The theobromine content of coca is very high and about 2.8 percentage. It is lost during fermentation and roasting process. Coca is the natural and most concentrated source of Theobromine. Cocoa also contains minerals, vitamins, and very small amount of theophylline. The proteins of the cocoa beans are present in combination with polyphenols. The high fat content makes cocoa products a good source of energy. Cocoa products are good source of energy due to high fat content. Processing of cocoa bean. The steps involved are first one fermentation. Cocoa pods are harvested and the beans and mucilage are scooped out and subjected to natural fermentation either in heaps, wooden boxes or baskets. Fermentation generally takes 5 to 10 days. Changes occurring during fermentation. Fermentation removes adhering pulp and mucus kills the germ of the bean and modifies the flavor and color of the bean. Changes occur in proteins and polyphenols in the kernel and there is also a reduction in the astringency of the kernel. Pulp breaks down and there is a change in the color of the seeds from pale yellow or violet to brown. Next step is drying. The beans are dried to 6 to 8 percent moisture level in the sun or in artificial dryers. Next step is roasting. While roasting, the beans are passed through corrugated rollers to break their shells and removed by winnowing. These cotyledons are known as nibs. What are nibs? While roasting, the beans are passed through corrugated rollers in order to break their shells and removed by winnowing. These cotyledons are known as nibs. Reduction of moisture, release of the beans from the shell, 
development of chocolate flavor changes in the color of the beans or nibs occur during roasting roasting also reduces the acidity significantly decreases the concentration of volatile acids especially acetic acid reducing the acidic taste roasted beans possess typical intense aroma of cocoa next grinding the nibs are used for the manufacture of cocoa and chocolate the nibs are ground in stone mills or other suitable mills to a fine paste or liquor the heat produced during grinding causes cocoa fat to melt and the melted fat carries with it in suspension finely ground particles of cocoa this is known as cocoa mass chocolate liquor or bitter chocolate this mass solidifies at 30 degrees celsius grinding facilitates pressing operation and improves the rheological properties of chocolate that's all about grinding next cocoa mass cocoa mass is very rich in fat it consists of 50 to 55 percentage fat and cannot be used directly for the preparation of any beverage it is subjected to filter pressing to separate out a major part of the fat this fat is known as cocoa butter cocoa mass may be used for the production of cocoa powder and cocoa butter by pressing and chocolate cocoa powder pressure is employed to the cocoa mass to remove the fat which is referred to as cocoa butter the pressed cake is used for producing cocoa powder the amount of fat left in the pressed cake can be varied by changing the conditions of pressing according to indian standards institution isi specifications cocoa used for beverage should contain 20% cocoa fat medium fat cocoa 10 to 20% fat low fat cocoa less than 10% fat flavoring substances like vanilla and cinnamon are generally incorporated into cocoa powder alkalization dutching or dutch process the pressed cake after the removal of cocoa butter contains 1.8 to 11.3 percentage of free acids this acid is neutralized with the addition of a requisite amount of alkali that is known as alkalization This is known as a death process because it's originated in Holland. Cocoa processed by this method is darker in color and stronger in flavor, more bitter and astringent than the same material not treated with alkali. Mostly potassium carbonate or potash is used as alkali. Cocoa butter, cocoa butter makes up almost 50% of the cocoa bean. It is a pale yellow liquid with the characteristic odor and the flavor of chocolate. It is brittle at temperatures below 25 degrees Celsius, softens in the hand and melts at 34 degrees Celsius in the mouth. It is not greasy to touch. It is highly rich in saturated fatty acids, palmitic and lower acids 26.21%. stearic and higher acids 34.4 percentage oleic acid 37.3 percentage and linoleic acids 2.1 percentage the butter is used in the manufacture of chocolate chocolate cocoa mass not treated with alkali is used for the manufacture of chocolate there are many types of chocolate depending upon the level of cocoa mass added cocoa butter sugar milk and other ingredients plain chocolate that is the sweet chocolate it contains cocoa mass cocoa butter and sugar sugar 40 to 55 percentage and fat 32 to 42 percentage milk chocolate it contains cocoa mass cocoa butter sugar and milk solids of 12 percentage sugar 35 to 55 percentage and fat 28 to 39 percent plain and milk chocolate are extensively used in confectionery and 
ice cream other types of chocolate unsweetened chocolate it contains up to 75% cocoa solids and no added sugar or milk products primarily used for baking it is too bitter to eat on its own dark chocolate it is also known as a bitter sweet or semi sweet chocolate it contains a high percentage up to 75% of cocoa solids and little added sugar baking chocolate both semi sweet and unsweetened baking chocolates are available kavorcher it is a very high quality chocolate that contains a higher percentage of cocoa butter 32 to 39 percentage than baking or eating chocolate ingredients of chocolate milk solids milk crumb dehydrated milk sugar and cocoa mass constitutes milk crumb cocoa butter sugar butter oil etc emulsifiers used 0.1 to 0.3 percentage soya lecithin sorbitan monosterate flavorings vanillin cumarin essential oil of natural fruits or synthetic dried fruit and nuts such as figs raisins dates walnuts almonds hazelnuts cashews etc may be used for flavoring steps in chocolate production mixing all ingredients are mixed refining it is the process of reducing the particle sizes of both cocoa solids and sugar crystals in finished chocolate the finer the chocolate the better the gloss as a smoother surface gives great reflection of light finer particles provide greater adhesion and retention of fat when chocolates are exposed to higher temperatures conching or kneading it is an important step in chocolate making warm chocolate of 21 to 71 degree celsius is kneaded and aerated by machines to increase its smoothness flavor and viscosity tempering heating and cooling chocolate to specific temperatures making it more resistant to melting and imparting a smooth glossy and hard finish that is known as tempering next one is molding the chocolate is poured into the mold at 32 degree celsius the filled molds pass over a tapping section to remove the air bubbles this mold then moves on a belt through a cooling tunnel of 7.7 to 8.3 degree celsius that is about the molding process enrobing what is enrobing the liquid chocolate is poured over a solid center many different products are made in this manner such as candy bars biscuits cakes and ice creams next step is cooling it is to be done to cool and solidify chocolate properly next one is packaging the packing room conditions should favorably be at 16 degree celsius 55 percentage relative humidity storage the desired storage temperature is between 14.5 degree celsius to 20 degree celsius this chart consists of the whole process of making chocolate first ferment and dried cocoa beans cleaning and roasting breaking and winnowing and milling chocolate liquor it is bifurcated after chocolate liquor cocoa manufacture left side chocolate manufacture right side cocoa manufacture alkalization fat pressing press cake breaking grinding and sifting and cocoa powder the right side chocolate manufacture addition of sugar mixing refining conging tempering and last plain or milk chocolate by molding and by enrobing chocolate coated products defects in chocolate chocolate bloom what is chocolate bloom it is a moldy looking white coating there can appear on the surface of chocolate two types of blooms are there fat bloom and sugar bloom fat bloom arising from changes in the fat in the chocolate irregular storage temperature cause fat bloom next one is sugar bloom formed by the action of moisture on the sugar ingredients that is known as sugar bloom they limit the shelf life of many chocolates chocolate that has bloom is still safe to eat but may have an unappetizing appearance and surface texture other defects 
production of off flavor upon prolonged storage due to production of delta electrons from lipids cola drinks this prepared from seeds of cola tree from west africa the cola nut is a caffeine containing nut of evergreen trees of the genus cola primarily of the species cola acuminata and cola nitida cola nut is used as a flavoring ingredient in beverages and is the origin of the term cola coca cola here this coca is entirely different from the coca which is used to make chocolate coca cola invented in 1886 named coca cola because of its two main ingredients coca leaves and cola nuts coca cola no longer uses cola nut extract relying instead on artificial imitations to achieve the flavor thank you if you like this channel please share and subscribe don't forget to click bell button to get notifications